Did Noah Beck leave the Sway House for the Hype House? We will fill you in on Noah's decision and what his girlfriend Dixie D'Amelio had to say about it. I'm Kelsey McDonald and you're watching The Daily Report. Before we get into it, the Kids' Choice Awards are tomorrow and we have an exclusive first look into the fun. We got to hang out with Hailey Bieber. Check out what she had to say. Oh man, I don't know. I mean, I think it'd probably be funny to slime my parents and see like their reaction. I'm sure they'd hate it. I feel like that's a hard question because I have a favorite from each album, but I always really loved anyone when I first heard it. I still love it now, but there's so many songs on this album that's coming out that I really love too, so. I always love just going out to dinner. Like, I, I love food, I'm such a foodie. I love trying new food. I just love food in general. So for me, going out on like a one-on-one -on -one dinner date is perfect for me. All right, everyone, we know the Sway House has been going through some drama lately, and I guess Noah Beck is ready to move on. It's no secret that since the rise to fame, the Hype House and the Sway House have definitely been involved in their fair share of drama. But Sway House member Bryce Hall gave us some hope in December of last year, tweeting, quote, Hype House and Sway House might be doing collabs like the old days soon. He uploaded a new vlog a few hours later, which featured members of the Hype House. So the two houses seem to be in a good place at the moment. But we do know that the Sway House has been going through its own drama revolving around members leaving and the Sway House basically shutting down. But those rumors started earlier in the year and it looks like the Sway House is still standing, so no one really knows what the future of the house entails. Still no clarification there. So in Noah's most recent YouTube video titled, I Left the Sway House, Noah decides to try out for the Hype House. The Hype House was the first TikTok house to be formed in December of 2019, and the Sway House was founded a month later in January of 2020. In Noah's video, he shows up at the Hype House wearing their merch and tells fans, quote, today's the day I make the transfer. When he gets out of the car, he is met by fellow Sway House members, including Bryce Hall, who immediately notices Noah's sweatshirt with the Hype House logo on it. And Noah asks Bryce if he is trying out for the Hype House too. And Bryce tells him, quote, yeah, I actually decided to leave Sway cause like, you know, we all fell off, so. The tea, Bryce, the tea. Noah goes to the Hype House to check out his quote unquote new room. And guys, I can guarantee it's nothing like his room in the Sway House. The room is basically an attic crawl space, but Noah being the nicest guy ever says that he can make the room work. After seeing his room, Noah sits down with Thomas Petru, leading member of the Hype House, and tells him that he wants to make the transition from Sway to Hype. Thomas asks Noah some basic questions and then very easily welcomes him into the Hype House. If only it were that easy, I'd be in all these houses by now. <laughs> Cause you know I can dance. Noah calls his girlfriend Dixie D'Amelio to fill her in on the news and tells her quote, baby, I did it. I'm officially a Hype House member. Dixie could totally tell something was up asking Noah quote, are you live or something? <laughs> Oh, Dixie, you know him so well. <laughs> Noah takes a moment to reflect on life after being welcomed into his new home and tells his fans, quote, literally ever since I posted my first TikTok, all I wanted to do was this for the Hype House. This is all I ever wanted to do. And now that I'm here, I'm home. He then asks fans to support his decision and makes his way into his new house. You can obviously tell the video was a joke, but think about it. A Sway House without Noah? It just doesn't seem right. <laughs> doesn't make sense. It seems like everything is fine and back to normal for Noah, considering he did a TikTok with all his fellow Sway House members. They did the trend called, Who's the Most? Where if the person in the group has done something, they step up in front of the camera. It seemed like all fun and games until the question, quote, who can't move on from their ex comes up, and the guys basically shove Griffin Johnson to the front of the camera. Awkward, considering Griffin used to date Noah's current girlfriend, Dixie. We all remember hashtag Grixie. Man, that feels like a very long time ago. Fans felt bad for Griffin, but turns out the guys planned beforehand that Griffin was going to step forward for that question. Noah posted a comment under the video saying, quote, guys, we told Griffin to step up as a joke, LMAO. We're glad the guys can finally now all joke about it. Like, that was the whole thing. <laughs> But guys, I have to tell you, do not forget, the Kids' Choice Awards are tomorrow, March 13th, 
You are not going to want to miss out on all the celebs, the slimes, and with host Kenan Thompson, you're never going to know what surprises are in store. So make sure to tune in. It's going to be good. But now I want to know what you think. Do you think Noah fits in better at the Sway House or the Hype House? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. And make sure to follow us at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. Also, make sure to follow the Daily Report podcast on Spotify. The link is right there down in the description box below. Low. I'm Kelsey McDonald and the Sway House Hype House. Literally, if it was that easy to get in the house, just that little interview, be in like no time. <laughs>